Oh yeah. Here we go. Dude, I just got all that. You got it, dude. You got it. Woke up this morning to watch the sunrise. I was taking the beauty of what's out here. No rod, no reel. And I stumbled upon this dock with a dock light. And there are legitimate 30 to 40 inch snook tarpon at my feet. I'm gonna be back here later to fish, but that's besides the point. Let's see where this adventure today leads us. Day two in Florida. Let's do it. All right, so while I was watching that sunrise, I saw some giant tarpon under the dock lights. And that Mark over there, who's a local. Guy's a legend. He gave us a mackerel for shark bait. Definitely using this at some point during the trip. Stay tuned. dark driving in so I didn't get to see anything and today I hopped in the car I'm going to the grocery store and the bait shop to stock up on the essentials and I have no idea where this adventure is gonna lead us today let the adventures begin this radio station just said let's talk fishing I think I'm moving down to Florida <laughs> I've never heard that said before that's so sick cuz I'm here talking fishing today no plan at all but now we're mobile I got a bike taking it one step at a time and seeing what we can find in the keys in a world where fishing is everything, kids go out on bikes with rods to catch whatever's gonna bite and never end the scent. Parked up, we're going to the first spot of the day. Literally a two minute bike ride from Dylan's house. This is where I was this morning watching the sunrise. So I came back with the rod. I saw a ton of huge fish. I also met Mark who fishes here a lot. He said he has a snook dialed off these rocks. So I'm gonna see if I can catch some snook right up here. Uh, I know, I'm really good friends with Mark. Blah, 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 private property. Does she know Mark? This guy is a freaking legend. Like, I'm not talking any average fisherman. Mark is legitimately the coolest guy ever. So she can just stop talking right now, even though she's going to keep talking and kick me off, whatever. I kept going back every day after this, kept fishing, never got caught again, of course. He, he lives here. He told me it should be okay. Yeah, long story short, I got booted, but that's not stopping the adventure from continuing. Let's keep at it. Going wherever the scent leads us. This is spot number one. Bucktail equipped, bait popping everywhere. We got some current moving through this little canal right here. And uh, let's get fishing. It's a manatee? No way, I've never seen one before. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Dinosaur. No! All right, we're at the next spot, fishing this bridge, just biked here, and I'm throwing a Kytec to start off. So I'm just gonna start casting in and around this area, maybe by the docks over here, under the pilings. I got a couple plugs that I'm gonna tie on as well. I'll just try to get the first bite of the day, see if we can hook. I think midday is a little tough, but once the sun starts going down, we're gonna be catching fish today. Either way, really fun exploring all throughout the keys. This place is absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. There's a snook right in front of me. On my journeys, I've just found a free bucktail. That's awesome. Never even fished the green and white, so that's gonna be exciting. If you lose a lure, you find one. I think it's really cool because I lost that jerk bait. I was kind of getting bummed out, and then I found the bucktail, so it kind of equaled out. And if I just got stuck up on the jerk bait, I probably would have missed that bucktail that was lying on the ground. So don't get too discouraged. Keep your eyes open and keep on fishing. Speaking of lures, I'm going to take off the Kytec and tie on this plug. Shout out to Johnny for this one. This is Johnny's plug. Somehow I ended up in my tackle box. So I'm going to put it to good use to try to catch a fish out of here with it. All right, let's see what this plug can do. This thing sinks down and it has a pretty good action. It's kind of like a jerk bait, but it sinks. I'm really stoked to try it out. Oh my God, look at that snook. Whoa, there's a monster snook right here. Fishing spots that are out of the ordinary. This little weed line is created because they dammed up an area that they're doing work on back there. I just saw like a 35 inch snook right in front of me. Hopefully the GoPro captured that. So I might end up throwing a swim bait again just to kind of finesse fish these fish. But I wanted to tie on this jerk bait that sinks just to kind of find the fish. After seeing that snook smoke the bait fish, I tied on a little Rapala clack and wrap. And my thought is by throwing this right in the area where that snook rose up, he should hit it because these bait fish are small. All right, a little midway through the day breakdown, sitting here at this little inlet, and I had an awesome morning, watched the sunrise, didn't really catch any fish so far, but I saw that giant snook, 
and I've just been exploring. Now I just got a text from my mom that her colleague's husband's here in Marathon and he's got a boat, he's here with his buddy and he shot us an invite to fish with him this afternoon. It's gonna be sick. I can't wait to see what happens and that's, and this is truly just how the adventures pan out. You never know what's gonna be the next step. I lost that jerk bait. I was getting a little bit bumped out and then I found the bucktail. I was like, okay. See, like things kind of do work out for the right reasons. And then I wasn't catching a snook over there, but we got an invite on a boat. So we should be catching some fish later today. So no worries to catching the fish. You just gotta let it happen naturally on its own. That's what we're doing. It's beautiful out here. Can't get enough of the keys. Oh my gosh. I think, I think I'm moving here. If you guys see me down in Florida full time, it's because I love it down here. It's so sweet. Just like great vibes. It's warm. Only in the winter though. I'll probably be somewhere else during the, during the summer. Got him. Oh yeah, what is this? Oh, a little, a little cuda. My first barracuda ever. Let's go. First fish of the day. My first ever barracuda. Sweet. We're rock and rolling on to the next spot. I think right now we're gonna go catch some mullet and then go for tarpon and snook and probably go on the boat. We still gotta hear back from the guy that we're going with. Let's do it. So this is the point of the day where we catch some big fish. It's going down. Let's do this. And hey, we might be going on the boat still. I have no idea. Maybe tonight. It's a little windy though, so I think that that trip might be canceled, but we got the inlet straight ahead of us. And that's the plan for This is the arsenal, oh my gosh. Dude, I'm a big pen guy. Yeah. So yeah, we're not messing around. We're catching probably some giant sharks. Hopefully my first tarpon. Hopefully Dylan's first tarpon. tarpon. Too. In the keys, catching sharks. This is gonna be sick. <laughs> well, I was way Dylan caught the first bait fish of the day. Little the pinfish. Caught it. Here it goes. First bait being launched out. Little pinfish. Get it out there. Hell yeah. Easy cat. Now we wait. Should get the job done. You said last time here, black tip shark. Bull sharks, tarpon, snook. Who knows what'll come through? Spanish mackerel, right underneath those birds. Where we were diving. No way, are you serious? Yeah, hopefully they come this way. So. Oh, that, that'll be gnarly. All right. Yeah, so, sun's going down. We're fishing until the end of the day. And who knows what's going to happen. So there's bait popping right out there. Got a snag hook tied on. I'm not trying to catch a pelican. Okay. Got him. Snag it into the bait. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Looks like a mullet. Let's go, dude. That's some bait right there. That's See, snagging bait. does come in handy. Let's fish. Oh, I'm getting the sickest shot. Better down. Two rods in the water. Both have mullet on them now, so it's a matter of time before we get these bites. Dude, you just hit the hook. Oh, we just lost the fish. Lost the first fish of the day. Is it based on this? Oh yeah. There we go. Dude, I just got all that. You got it, dude. You got it. Oh. No, it snapped it off. off on the pelican, dude. <laughs> It hit the pelican and snapped off. No, dude, that, that was a giant fish. Oh my God, that was insane. Was that the last straw? That was the last Are one. we heading out? Never in the sand. Hey, we might catch a fish in the next spot, but today was wicked. You saw it first what happened right there. That was pretty much the action summed up. We got the pelican all around diving down, dolphins rolling through, 100 pound tarpon rolling through, sharks biting us off left and right. Today was the day. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bahia Honda, that's where we're headed. That sounds such a cool name. So if you guys remember, this is where I saw a giant snook. There's a little bit of a weed bed. I'm gonna cast along this in the shallow water. Yo. Fingers crossed we land some big fish here because we lost a lot of big ones today. Now it's our time to 
hook into some fish and land them. Get them on the banks, get some pictures of the giant fish because Florida's sick. It's awesome being out here just exploring. And I really don't need to land any fish, but it would be nice to have monster fish in my hands. But it... Got him! That's a snook. Woo! Let's get him in. How sick is that? Little snook right by the mangroves over there. That's what I'm talking about. Choke the swim bait. Oh yeah, that's not a big one. That is a snook for sure. So we tried to get to the next spot. Oh my gosh, like it got to the point of the day where we're both like just, we're just going drain, home. Dude. Like we're ending the send right now. And the, we, you don't do that, you don't do that. But we well, have the to. Well, never ending, but. I agree, taking, actually. Taking a pause, actually. actually. Dude, the thing is though, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm correcting myself. We're not ending the send, and Dylan's right, the send never ends because we're driving back to his house. We haven't, even, we haven't even made it back to his house yet. And then once we make it back there, I mean, there's water in your backyard, right? Yeah, knock yourself out. Though. We might be fishing there. 